G'day everyone, this week's top trend print from Printables is the Battle Droid kit card made by Willy. There's three things in this listing that I think everyone should take note of, so as well as the usual print and assembly, I'll talk about those in today's video. So what's so special about this listing, well to start, in the files for download there's an SDL for the parts that you typically do in each colour, so they're all grouped together, there's body, the blaster, the accented coloured parts, but separated on top of that is the individual parts in case you have one that didn't print right or it breaks afterwards for replacement. In the images for it there's also an exploded view of all the parts and their relation to each other which can be really handy third item I think that makes this a standout is it's really clear images of the parts and how they all fit together as well. Let's see it printing. So here's all the pieces, all laid out, ready to go. These little bars I had to trim just a tiny bit and just scrape down the side so they fit into those holes really well. They're a little bit tight on my print. It was the same with the accent colour on the head of the droid, it was a little bit tight, so I just scraped that a little just to make that fit a little bit better. So I think the elbow joint on this model is a little bit flimsy. It, I think it would operate better if it was maybe a print in place ball joint or something like that. The shoulder joint operates really well, but it is a little bit tight to get together at first. The calf muscle is just a friction fit, so a little squeeze helped it to get on. Again, the same with the elbow joint, the knee joint is a little flimsy or a little um, 
too easy to pop out and I found a couple of the parts were flying out when I go to do the final assembly. One thing to note with the shoulder joint, those tabs do go in in a specific orientation. That square or that hole isn't square, it's actually a rectangle. So they just need to make sure that you're getting it in the right way. If you find it's not going in, maybe rotate it 90 degrees and it should be no problem. I'm not sure why I had so much trouble with this backpack, but it seems to not want to go in at all. And I started to go in, but then it was just taking too much pressure to get it finally in. So I ended up using a little bit of heat just to soften up that uh, tab. Here's the final product. My son's taken ownership of it, and I don't think I'm going to see that again. It's in his shell. Oh. <laughs> so that's it for this week comment below if you're one of the thousands that printed this model and how you went with it any tips for anyone else printing it out thanks for watching and we'll see you next week